We are under one name No one is lost or goes unseen Cause we're all loved by our king This is nothing ordinary There is power in the name we carry Every nation, every tongue joy right now everybody children at home i choose joy yeah. even though i'm a little scared right now because i have no idea who's sitting next to me Fred, it's, it's me stranger danger Fred, stranger danger fed you know who i am i know who you are yeah it's shawnee d oh my goodness gracious hey it's me guys goodness it's me, gracious shawnee d. goodness gracious who are you I am Prince Fedge. Prince Fedge, I Prince like Prince Fedge. Fedge. Prince Fedge is a good one. Thank you, yeah. I appreciate that. I, I felt a little more like royalty today. Yeah. I was gonna go hang out with Anna and Elsa uh -huh. afterwards. Uh -huh. Maybe in my dream. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. But probably. You would fit and build in. a snowman you with them. You all like to sing songs. Yes, so. absolutely. And build a snowman. Yeah. 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 I love that. I don't know if you could build a snowman now, though. It's a little warm. But did you, are you proud of me? I choose joy. I am proud I, of I, you. I chose joy. Yes. Like, even though I was scared, yeah. and you may be really nervous with this thing. Yeah. Can I make this my tail? Like Igor? Here. I lost my tail when I put it back first, on. First I can do this. I can, I can tickle you. Oh. Here. <laughs> Here, use it as a tail. Oh, yay! A uh, hat tail. There we go. Oh. It's a fudge in the hat. There you go. Oh, I love hey. it. Oh. So, this is the Echo, 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 Echo Show. Echo, We gotta, echo, get, we gotta echo, get rid of that echo. echo. But hey, so should we jump right in? Yes! Go. Let's jump on in. Hey, so we have somebody doing the uh, memory verse today, we right? We do? Yeah. Mickey? No, it's not Mickey. Donald. I, Elsa. No, no. Anna? Why don't we just go ahead and watch Pluto. Them? Pluto yeah, can we'll talk just, now. We'll just go ahead and watch, okay? Sweet. Hey guys, we're gonna do the memory verse together, okay? I have spoken these things to you while I remain with you. 
But the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all the things and remind you of everything I have told you. John 14, 25, and 26. Wow, that was an awesome memory verse. Wow, I agree. Wow. Totally agree. We just said wow together. Wow! 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 wow. wow. That's great. The memory verse is always my favorite, right? It's great. We get to hear God's true story. word, right? True story. We get to hear God's word. Because it is a true story. Yes, it is a true story. Hey, very true story. But you know what's almost as good as the verse of the day? What? The question of the, the day. The question, not the statement. The question. No, because we have to get asked before we can make a statement. Oh. Right. right? Yeah. True we have to story. Respond to the question. Oh. Very good point. So I like how you're we, so much smarter than I am. No, don't sell yourself short. You're oh, very smart, Fed. Okay. Thank you. But we're gonna have I am somebody. Short, though. We're gonna have somebody share the question of the day. Do you mind? No, not at all. All right. Well, let's let them ask. Okay. Hey, absolutely. Hi guys. I'm gonna ask you the question of the day. Feeling happy is nice. Lots of circumstances can make us feel happy. And what are the things that make you feel happy? Bye. Can I answer this one? I'm sure. I love, things that make me feel happy are unicorns and lollipops and pink horses. Oh, yeah. I love being happy. I could see how those would make you happy. Yes. Yeah. And frolicking amongst the flowers. Yeah. Somebody that liked to hang out with Elsa would yes. like to frolic amongst oh, the flowers. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, th those things make me very happy. But you happy. can't build a snowman with flowers, too. Oh, I can. You can. With magic. Because ah. magic exists, doesn't it? Okay. I can have a snowman in the middle of 100 degree heat, the humidity of Tennessee, yeah. and have a snowman there wow. and put okay. a flower right on his head. Interesting. I can do that, right? Gotcha. You, sure. Thank you for validating yeah. that. I appreciate it. You need my validation. What makes you happy? <laughs> you make me happy, Fed. Oh. Being on this show with all of you guys out yes. there makes me happy. How can I forget that? That is, that it's is okay. so happy. It can be both of our happiness, oh, right? I love it. We can share in the happiness. Yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. what I'm talking about. Hey, so we've also got a special guest coming on the show. We do. We do. Oh, is it Elsa? No, not Elsa. Oh, I was hoping to meet her. Uh. No, we're I, gonna meet somebody I'm else. It's kind of hot. Is it okay for it's me to meet really else? It's really hot outside, so I wanted to use her magic to make me cool I'm down. I'm gonna go ahead and count if that doesn't. You oh, know, if that's okay. cool. For a special guest? Yeah. That's Elsa? No. No. Three, two, two one. Pat a time. That's right, it's Pat a time. How can I forget that? I'm not Elsa. <laughs> oh, you're better than Elsa. You're actually real. Hey, hey Pat, I've got a gift you're for you. You're a real boy. I've got a gift for you. Close your eyes. Open your hand. Here you go. Oh! It fell out. This gave you the greatest Where thing hey, ever. Open your eyes. It's pretty good, huh? It's exact. How did you know that I wanted this? Yeah. One yes. man's garbage is another man's treasure. I've been telling everybody that I know that I've been wanting exactly this yeah. for so long, and I finally have it. I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I, cool. I'm kind of coveting your, your trash there. I really, I really wanted that piece of trash. One question. What? What is it? Uh, I don't remember. Well, I cherish it. It's oh, cool. I'm awesome. gonna put it right there. Uh, okay, that's a good spot. Uh, I, I'm gonna have a hard time because I'm I, I'm gonna have a hard time focusing on you like I should be focusing on what you're about to say because what you have to say is straight from the say? word of God. It's awesome, but I'm gonna have a hard time because I'm just gonna want to keep looking at the piece of trash. Well, I'll try to. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll not. It's getting me too. Yeah. Hey, snap out of it, guys. Okay, oh, okay, 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 sorry. Okay. It's a distraction, it's a distraction. That's Let's actually, I'm gonna put it in my pocket. Oh, okay. I'll put it in my pocket. You know what, kids? If you have a distraction at home too, like we just had, it might be a good idea if you put it away, and that way you can really open your ears and listen mm. to what Mr. Patrick is gonna share from us Pat from the Word of God. Pat it to my bad, it's my okay. bad. It's, My all, bad. it's all good. There you go, pat attack. I think it's time we get started. Right? Yeah. Okay. So last week we were talking about um, we were talking about Jesus and he was healing someone that was blind, mm. right? And I remember we talked about um, some of his disciples asking Jesus, "What did this person do to deserve this?" And we learned that sometimes when bad things happen, it doesn't mean that it was just because of their sin or their parents' sin. Um, it's but one thing that we do know is that God can be glorified in those moments. Wow. Right? And we saw that that's exactly what happened. Yeah. Right? We also talked about how there were Pharisees, right? Those were the teachers of the law, mm -hmm. and they were actually blind. Now, not in the way that they couldn't see something that was in front of them, no, like, right? Not in the oh, way that okay. the, the man that Jesus healed was, okay. was blind, 
but they had like a spiritual blindness, mm -hmm. right? These people that were teaching, they were teaching the law, they knew that there would be a, a coming Messiah, right? Wow. But when Jesus had come, they didn't recognize him. Mm. They, they didn't? didn't? No. He's God. Yeah, I know. And they, and they didn't and recognize these, him. And all these and prophecies are coming and they still didn't believe him. And we're talking Jesus. thousands of years yeah. that they, they, he, they've been talking about Jesus coming mm -hmm. and, and spells it out for them and now he's in their midst. And, yeah, no and they idea. didn't see it. How did they miss it? Well, I think one of the issues is when they were reading through, and sometimes when we read through our Bibles, we can see, oh man, we're supposed to do these things, right? God wants us to do these things, right? Sometimes we can look at rules or laws, and we think that like us obeying them. No, don't get me wrong. It's important to yeah. obey laws. But if they I think obey, that, it's important for me to obey my parents. Yes. If they ask me to do something like clean up my dishes or something, I should obey them, right? Mm -hmm. Just like that. Okay. Yep. Just making sure I was on the same page. But the, these people thought that maybe because we follow the law, and just because we follow the law, we're good. That's that's oh, what me. That's what it, it's all about. Is just following oh. rules, and they missed the entire. So they were gonna, the They were thinking they were going to go to heaven if they followed the rules yeah. perfectly. Mm -hmm. And I, I even the fedge is not perfect. Yeah. Sometimes I can't. I, I, I want to still go to heaven. Yeah. Well, today we're going to continue talking. Well, not not the same story, but we're going to be talking more about what God does want from us. Oh, wow. Yeah. So not only do we learn like that, you know, um, our our faith and Christianity is not just about following rules alone, right? It's about having a deep relationship with Jesus yeah. mm -hmm. and seeing where his heart in is in all of this. I think that ties in right to having joy. It does. Oh, okay. Absolutely. But anyway, let's let's get to the video and then we can talk after. Does that sound good? Yeah. That sounds fantastic. All right, let's check it out. Great crowds of people followed Jesus wherever he went. One day, Jesus went up on a mountain. He sat down and began to teach about the kingdom of God. First, Jesus taught about the blessings that come to those who follow him. He said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the humble, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Then Jesus taught how believers should live. Jesus said that believers are the light of the world. Let your light shine before others so that they may see the good things you do and choose to praise God. Then Jesus taught about God's law. Jesus did not come to get rid of the law, but to obey it perfectly. He said that to enter heaven, a person can't just look righteous on the outside like the righteous leaders. A person must be righteous on the inside too obeying God for the right reasons. Jesus said, love your enemies and pray for them. When you give to people who are poor, give in secret. And when you pray, don't pray just so that people will hear you. Jesus taught the people how to pray. He also said, forgive others. If you forgive those who sin against you, God will forgive you too. But if you don't forgive them, God will not forgive you. Jesus said, do not collect treasures on earth. They can be destroyed or, or stolen. Collect treasures in heaven instead. For where your treasure is, that is where your heart will be also. He taught that God provides for his people. Jesus taught the people many things. When he finished teaching, the crowds were amazed because he taught them like one who had authority. Jesus taught people what it means to follow him. He taught how people should live, how they should treat one another, and how to love God. People who trust in Jesus live to honor God and show what his kingdom is like. That was a great, that was great lesson. Totally spectacular. Spectacular. Super califragilistic expialidocious, actually. Super califragilistic expialidocious elite on top of that with some sugar on top. Anamana Oh. 
Sorry, that's just a big word that I know. Oh, onomatopoeia. But that doesn't mean it being good. You know what onomatopoeia is? Do you know what an onomatopoeia is? No idea. It's a word that describes sounds that are made. So like, kablam! Oh! That would be an onomatopoeia. Or hold on, wait, wait. Kapow! That would be it, like kerplunk. Anyways, that's that's not having to do with our story. He's so got, let's get he's back got to the story. Got a lot of talents. Yeah. I wish that's I my was water as talented drop as, as pet attack. Wish I could have a job making water drop noises. Yeah. Okay. So guys, today's lesson is extremely important. Yeah. Right. What we do, what the video was just talking about, is called the Sermon on the Mount. Mm. And this is a time. This lesson is about a time where Jesus was teaching. Right. He was teaching in this specific story. Now we've what, seen what, him. What inning was it in? You said it was <sighs> Sermon on the Mount. Yeah. Was Different. there a pitcher? No. Was there a home run? On the mount. Oh, the mount. Yeah, on the mount, oh. not the mound. I'm sorry, Pat. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Oh, I'm, I'm with you, though. I kind of okay. thought the same yeah. thing. I was had the bat in my hand. I was about ready to swing. Let's swing into some... Uh, Sermon on the, yeah. the Mount. <laughs> swing gotcha. back into the story. Okay. Um, so the Sermon on the Mount is, is actually pretty important. We've been learning about Jesus healing people, mm -hmm. right? And through his healing and what he was saying to his disciples in these healings, we can learn about God's character. Mm -hmm. It's very important. But also on the Sermon on the Mount, this is a time when Jesus is teaching, right? He's not healing, he's teaching. Now what this shows us is sometimes we look at Jesus' life and say, man, he was his healing people physically, mm -hmm. right? Whether they were physically ill um, or, or, or whatnot. But what we know is that... Whatnot. Or whatnot. Or what and whatnot. Yeah. But we learned that where Jesus was ready to heal people physically, that was not his primary concern. Mm -hmm. Right? He was that, a doctor? Dr. He is? Jesus. Oh, he's definitely a doctor. Dr. Jesus. Definitely. He definitely healed many, right? But his primary purpose was to heal us spiritually. Oh, oh yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? No, he did both, right? But it's interesting that we see Jesus teaching here because if, if Jesus only cared about the physical yeah. needs, he wouldn't have any need to teach. Mm -hmm. I, I could be sick and he could heal me and I, I was throwing up and now I'm not. But if he doesn't change me on the inside out, I'm, I, I might not go to heaven. Mm -hmm. That's right. Jesus looks beyond. So now, really physical wouldn't things, matter. Yeah. Physical things are important, mm -hmm. right? But, but they're, they're physical, right? At some point, we, sadly, we all one day will die, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to experience pain and suffering at some point. But still, life is not that long. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's big. It's the longest thing that I know. But really... Jesus is wanting to have us and spend time with us for all of eternity, which there is no limit to that, oh, right? Gosh. And so in this sermon, it's so to important. To infinity and beyond. Mm. To infinity and beyond. Well, Jesus is teaching, and he's not teaching about just laws that need to be followed, like we talked about the Pharisees doing, mm -hmm. but he talked about kind of what this new kingdom would be, right? Oh. He, he kind of talked about what God wants. What should, what should we do? Right? And Jesus is saying all different things. Like he starts out with what are called the Beatitudes. Be attitudes. Different, I love different that. type of B. Isn't that oh. like a band? The Beatitudes. The Beatitudes. Oh, I was thinking bzzz. Oh, there's, I, oh, I just got stung. By an attitude. Can we got to be careful with those kind of bees. Oh. So let's stick with the Beatitudes. That hurts. Well, one of them would yeah, be. Um, no, no medicine okay. right now. Mm -mm. But it says, he says things like, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Well, what does it mean to be poor in spirit? Does it mean that, well, I don't need Jesus because I'm just full of spirit. Don't need any of that. No, being poor in spirit means that we need Jesus, right? We need and rely on God, mm -hmm. right? And so it's saying that if you are needing God, oh, you're, you're blessed mm -hmm. because you're going to get that, right? And if you know that you are needing that relationship with God, we know that does God turn away from us when we seek him? Turn around no. every no. now and then I get He's a actually bit. waiting for us. Yeah, turn, exactly. Turn around every now and then again. I don't know how long I should wait. Like, I kind of want to listen longer, but I still, we need to get back to the oh, story. Oh, I, I thought, so Jesus doesn't turn around on us. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, he right doesn't. He waits open. with arms wide open. Oh, there you go. I wish you could sing better than that, but that was awesome. Just try to be like you, Fetch. Oh, uh, there's only one Prince Fetch. All right. So, uh, back to the story. When we were talking about these Pharisees, remember, they were so, so focused on the things that they needed to outwardly be doing, right? Following those laws. Where on the Sermon on the Mount, it's talking about more of what's, what needs to be going on in here, right? What needs to be going on inside of us? And we should be reaching out and having that relationship with God. And it's in these teachings that Jesus is teaching not about physical healing. He's teaching about come to me, mm -hmm. right? Get to know God. Right? And that's where you will find ultimate healing, right? And, and that type of healing is so much more important because guess what? You, you can't break. Like when you're spiritually healthy and have that relationship with God, it's what happens when you're sick? 
Do you still have your relationship with God? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? When you, when you, if you broke your arm, do you still have your relationship with God? Mm -hmm. if, if something really bad happened to someone in your family, do you still have your relationship with I, God? I, I, can I tell a quick story? Yes. I was riding my bike one day and my, I fell down and I, I, I broke my arm, or at least I thought I broke my arm, and I prayed to Jesus in that moment and I felt like he was there for me and it was like, it was awesome. So even though I was hurt, I knew God was there with me. That's mm -hmm. great. And we've talked about it a couple, for a couple weeks now. Like, like we said, when we have this spiritual health, when we have a relationship with Jesus, we know that when those physical things happen and we are sad or suffering, right, or hurting, we know and we can trust God is still working. Mm -hmm. God is still working. Okay. Just some stuff to think about this week, guys. Cool. Yeah. That's but I'm, I'm actually having to, to head out, so I'm going to have to leave you now. Oh. Yeah. But maybe you can until with us next week. Definitely. Yeah. Have Sweet. me back next week. That would be great. I've got, I've got a new song. All right. Let me say bye to them first really quick before I listen to your entire song. Okay. Hey, see you guys next dun, week. Da, 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 Yes. Pretty cool. I couldn't get the words out just now. It's okay. That's okay. Dun, yeah. dun, 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 dun. You know what would fit that music perfectly? What is A that? The challenge of the day. Challenge of the day. The challenge. All right, Fedge, kids at home. I'm so excited that you're yes. going to this challenge I'm, today. I'm really excited. I, I just cut you off there. I apologize. Oh, no. It's okay. And I apologize for saying that you had a bad voice. That was very mean of me. I should never say anything mean. You're the singer. Period. I, no, I, I just try to be. But anyways. So excited about the challenge of the day. The challenge. Challenge of the day. Oh! What are we doing today, Fetch? What are we doing? Shania, Tommy, at home. Let's get some things. We, we're going to start off here with a bowl. This looks like we're making food. It's almost like we're going to make food, okay. like, like pudding or jello, but we're going to make Dough. dough, like Play-Doh, because oh, I cool. love to sculpt and I love shape. Pizzas. I I I just shaped the Eiffel Tower uh, uh, out of a yesterday. Pizza? No, not out of pizza. Out of the dough I'm about to make, but oh. that would be really cool if pizza I can shape like yeah, the Eiffel Tower. That would be sweet. I would eat that. Oh, okay. So we go get some salt. Okay. So you may need to pause for a moment. Go get some salt, and then we've got some flour. Mm. Not the skunk from Bambi, that's named flour, but actual flour. And then we've got a bowl. Okay. And it's not for putting on your head, no. even though I know you're gonna be <laughs> really tempted to put the bowl on your head. I'm actually jealous, that was a good Oh, man, thank you. I, I was really wanting to put the bowl in my head this entire time. Do we have water but I though? Realized, we water. Oh, like the water of life that Jesus gives? No, 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 like, like water to, you know, drink. Oh, like actual water. Uh. Oh. Kids at home, do you have water? Oh, you do? Oh, and you, you know where my water is too? Oh, it's right beside me? Oh, okay, okay. So. Oh, there's my water. You're hey, so smart. There it thank is. Thank you so much. All right, I, so how do we do this? Yeah, Ezra, thank you at home for telling me where the water was. That helped a lot. Okay, so we got the water, and we're gonna, see, I've gotta re even read the instructions, because I'll forget. So we're gonna mix the flour and salt in a bowl. Mm -hmm. So I got the flour, and Oh, I, I'm having a hard time taking it off, but Can it's I okay. You? Oh, you I got oh, it? oh wow. <laughs> I got it! Yay! I got flour. It's so much fun to play oh, with flour. Oh, it's messy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. No, kids at home, do not do what I just did. You don't need a mess, believe me. So you're gonna mix your flour. So I'm gonna put some flour. Don't use all of it. Oh no. No. Okay, so I'm gonna put we some flour. Just a little you bit can of flour. Put more in there. I can? Yeah. Okay, here we go. go. Oh, oh there we go. So I got some flour. Nice. And yep. I'm gonna get some salt. Yep. Very good. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some salt right in my bowl. Nice. Very good. Now it says add the water and mix thoroughly until combined. Okay, I think I've got plenty of salt. So I've got flour and salt. I feel like I'm on a cooking show. This is pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna add the water. All right. And mix. I'm just gonna start singing B 
our guest be our guest put your service to the oh, water yes yeah there water. we go so, don't get distracted kids water, put right, the cool. water so now i'm gonna take that's my lot, hands that's a lot of water was that a lot of yeah. water oh no it's okay. okay kids at home you really might need your parent guardian okay. grandma somebody to help so you so i'm gonna mix the mix flour together. and the salt this is like, a, the pudding, water like together. a tapioca oh it's okay i'm gonna get a little bit more flour and i go oh, oh, oh no bad. no Okay, so now I'm going to stir that okay. all together. Oh, it's kind of pasty. Okay, I'm going to keep reading the instructions. You may yep. need to add a little more water if the dough isn't coming no, together. I think our dough needs a lot more flour, actually. Okay, <laughs> if you wish to add food coloring, do so now. Oh, I, I'd love to make green. Yeah. I don't have green. We don't have green. Need right. the dough, need the dough. I need the dough like I want the dough? What does need mean? <laughs> need, need means like if this dough had more body to it, we'd oh, actually okay. be able to knead we'll it Knead the dough, but stir it yeah. until it becomes supple and smooth. I don't think our dough has oh, that. Oh, it's almost like slime. Yeah. But I'm, so I'm gonna add some more. There you go. Flour, there we go. Now I'm gonna stir a little bit more. Oh man. Oh, now it's a little too much flour. So it, it's really important, kids, that you have somebody helping you right now? Yeah. Because if I didn't have... Messy. If I didn't have you, I don't know where I'd be. Okay. Okay. So, oh, oh, it's doing up. Yep. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's a little more more like yeah. Play-Doh. Okay. I could have maybe a little used water. So, so would, I bet kids at home, you're going to have a much more perfect looking Play-Doh than would I do. Would you taste it? Oh, absolutely. I don't... Oh, yikes. No. <laughs> do not taste the dough. It is absolutely gross. Yeah. Not okay. <laughs> Don't do it. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, so I made a really good Play-Doh. Yeah. And to, again, do not eat Play-Doh. Not good. So, kids at home, you know what would be a good thing? Is if you show me how to do it right. Because yes, clearly, please. I don't. I gave you some good instructions. Show me how to do it right. Send in your videos. Send, send in your videos. videos. Please, send them in and let's teach Veg how to make dough. Please. We need better dough than this. We can't make pizzas out of this. This looks like pudding. But what does this teach us, Feds? If, if you had too much salt in there, well, what would that teach us oh, about the lesson? Yeah, so this reminds me of the lesson because if, if we had too much of one thing like salt, it all goes, it doesn't look, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. In, in, so, the, in the Sermon on the Mount, he told us to yeah. be the salt and the light, right? Oh. So in this dough, if there's too much salt, right? We don't want to eat it, but we just want the right amount of salt, yes. right? We want to be the salt and the flavor in the world yes. and be able to add some to flavor. To shine the light of Jesus. And ready? Absolutely. I'm bringing back day one. We can witness to others by witness. doing that as well. Oh. Give me a wow. messy high five, brother. Yeah, dude! Uh, oh, oh God, let's share some love, buddy. Sharing yeah. some love. I got you. I got you back. We're all good. Hey, well. Don't to, you have something to share to, with the kids yeah, before we before let's, we leave let's for today? End this monstrosity. It's okay. Can we go ahead and watch your guys' videos from oh, last week? Please, yes. Yes, please show us our video your videos because gonna, I can't gonna, wait to watch I'm gonna them. go hang out with Elsa now. I gotta go clean my hands. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna like the mess. Yeah. I can't wait to watch your videos. Let's watch them. Do the challenge of the day. Okay, you guys go. All right, stare at each other for 10 seconds. What color is my shirt? Green. Uh, what color are my toes? Purple. Mm -hmm. Um, what, what kind of brand of shorts do I have on? Nike. All right, time's up. Catherine Who got the most right? Catherine win? Because I didn't know to. And... All right, give each other a high five. Uh, well, Fed went to hang out with Elsa, so uh, I'm just gonna end the Echo Show myself. Uh, he left me with these dirty hands, and I'm not gonna taste it, because it looks like it tasted pretty gross. So, hey, I loved your videos. They were awesome. Keep sending them in, because I can't wait to see them next week. We'll see you guys next week. Bye! <laughs> well, this is the start of the Echo Show. As soon as worship finishes, just let it be this shot. No. Hi, kids! <laughs> Welcome to my world. Don't, don't. don't eat that. All right, I need that as a cut. We'll no. keep laughing, don't. but I forgot. <laughs> oh my God. You gotta swallow it. All right, oh no. Keep, 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 we're gonna... I'll be anything. Hey.
Pat the Rat. Yikes. Pat the rat. <laughs> That's not going to happen. <laughs> he comes up on stage and he goes, Pat a fat? <laughs> You won't 